Hello guys, welcome back sa akin channel. Ako nga pala Sir Mar Santa Maria, Master Teacher 1 of Governor Luis A. Ferrer Junior East National High School na magbibigay sa inyo ng mga math techniques para mapadali ang topic nyo sa mathematics. So yun guys, pag-uusapan natin pinaka-last part ng Mathematics uh, 7, quarter number 4, and week number 8. So about analyzing, interpreting, and drawing conclusions from graphics and uh, tabular uh, presentations. So dito natin i-discuss ng maigay yung tinatawag natin learning task number 2, assimilation and assessment. Panoorin natin hanggang sa dulong. Okay, so unahin natin yung learning task number uh, 2. According to the pie graph, give at least a 5 sentences as possible regarding the values that displayed in the graph. Kasi sinabi natin at least uh, greater than or equal to 5, pero lima lang naman yung given natin dito, kaya ang bibigay ko suggestions dito ay lima na lang din. Siyempre, unahin natin sa pinaka-title. So, the data is about the greatest concerns of the young people between ages 14 and 18. So, siguro ang iba sa inyo ay kasama na dito, pero yung iba ay masiguro mga ages uh, 12 o kaya naman ay uh, 13, mga gano'n, no? Okay, so nangunguna dito ang discrimination. So, most of them are 36% are concerned with discrimination. Sa Pilipinas, hindi naman siguro masyadong um, nadidiscriminate ang mga kabataan, pero kapag ikaw ay black people sa Amerika, yun, masyadong malaki yung uh, discrimination. Siguro kung nabalitaan nyo yung uh, Asian hate, di ba? Kaya, mas maganda, stop natin yung discrimination. Okay? Ang pinaka, akala ko magna number one dito yung uh, COVID-19 kasi buong mundo ang nangangamba about COVID-19. Pero sa kabataan daw, according to the pie graph, ay um, 28% lang ang are concerned with the COVID-19. Uh, okay. okay, next we have um, 24% of them are concerned with okay, the poverty. Sabi nga sa inyo, mahirap talaga ang maging uh, mahirap. So, naniniwala ba kayo sa kasabihan na poverty is not a hindrance to success? Ako hindi, ako naniniwala doon kasi naniniwala ko na ito ay uh, hindrance. Pero, dapat mas mataas ang pangarap mo sa poverty para uh, magtagumpay ka sa buhay. Kung mahirap ka nga, pero ang taas sa asama ng pangarap mo, gagawin mo lahat para magtagumpay sa buhay. So, sana ganun yung gawin nyo. No? Gamitin nyo yung talent, gamitin nyo yung pag-aaral, o kaya yung education para malagpasan nyo yung poverty na kinakaharap natin. Talaga mahirap ang maging mahirap. Lalo na kapag nagkasakit ka ngayon, wala kang pera, ah, napakahirap, grabe. Kaya, pagporsigyan nyo ang inyong pag-aaral. Next, syempre, uh, nandoon yung 12% of them are concerned with the family conflict. Um, payo ko sa inyo dito, lahat naman ng pamilya ay nagkakaroon ng conflict. Kaya, huwag kayo masyadong magtatampo sa mga magulang nyo kung kayo ay mga napapagalitan or napagsasabihan. Yung pinakasagot naman dito ay nasa lip na mismo. Bawa, number one, blank are numerical descriptive measures used to describe the center of the given set of data. Siyempre, it's about the measures of the central tendency. And then number two, blank is used when the data are of the interval or ratio or scale. Ginagamit natin dito ay mean. And then for number three, pag naman nominal ang uh, level natin, kailangan mo lang dyan ay okay, mode. And then for number four, blank is the average value by which any value is set in a set of data or distribution differs from okay, the mean is about the average uh, deviation and for number 5 kapag ka naman squared deviation ginagawa na natin dito yung pinaka variance okay for the assessment part so we are going to read each item carefully then write the capital letter that corresponds to your answer so Daniel celebrated his birthday so sino ba ang Daniel dito happy birthday sa yo his family and friends give him money to buy his uh, favorite toys. Oh, well, certain naman ni Daniel Mercy kung pambili na kanyang favorite toys. So, what is he going to use to know how many toys can he buy with his money? So, ang gagawin mo lang dito ay mean. Kasi i-add mo ang uh, ibibigay sa iyong money ng iyong family at ng friends. Tapos, i-divide mo kung magkano ba yung uh, favorite uh, toys. Pero, sana uh, magtira si Daniel. Huwag niyo upusin na kanyang pera sa toys lamang. No? Kaya, magiging sagat natin dito siyempre ay mean. So, write the capital letters. So, we have left right A. Okay, so for number 2, a class of 40 students took a math test. Mr. Sanchez, their teacher, wants to know whether most students are performing at the same level. So which us should he use? Ang pinaka keyword natin dito ay same level. So tinitignan natin dito kung homogeneous ba yung pinaka performance ng uh, mga estudyante ng Mr. Mr. Sanchez. Kaya ang pinaka best na gagamitin natin dito, yung measure na variability ay yung standard deviation. So, maging isagot natin is letter A. 
Okay, number three. Mr. Biko is studying his uh, sales uh, record to decide what type of slippers he should uh, reorder from the supplier. Suppose you were Mr. Biko, which uh, should you use? <laughs> kung ito yung pagkabasayan natin, suppose you were Mr. Biko, na parang walang maling sagot. Diba? Eh, kung gusto mong gamitin na yung binida sa iyo, mid-chan boat o kaya rin, so bahala ka, di ba? Kasi ikaw si Mr. Biko. Pero, kung titignan mo ang iyong uh, tinatawag natin business perspective, Siyempre, ang i-reorder mo dito, yung may pinakamaraming na ibenta kasi papaubos na yon di ba? Kaya yung may pinakamaraming pinakabenta ang uh, i-reorder mo, siyempre, kinakalaan ka agad dito ang gumamit ng mood kasi ito may uh, mas maraming uh, kind of or type of sleeper ang naibenta mo. So, ibig sabihin, favorite ng tao na uh, bilhin yon kaya ang pinaka-appropriate talaga dito ay letter C, mood. Okay, so number 4, uh, which master of central tendency should a businessman use when buying items for his uh, store? Ito ba ay mean, median, mode, or range? Kung ako ang tatanong eh, tingnan ko muna yung mode. Titingnan ko muna dito, ano bang item ang may pinakagustong bilhin o kaya item may pinakamaraming sales? Pero syempre, importante rin na tingnan mo rin yung uh, mean. Kasi malalaman mo dito kung ano ba yung average ng uh, sales mo, halimbawa, within a week for a particular item. Okay? Kaya importante rin na mahanap mo rin yung mean. Yung median, hindi applicable dito. Yung range, uh, hindi rin masyadong applicable. Kaya, more on uh, mode and uh, mean ang gagawin natin. So number five, the daily sales of a vendor for one week are 527 pesos, 507 pesos, 510 pesos, 640 pesos, 630 pesos, 570 pesos, and 700 pesos. He wants to know what his average uh, sale for one week, which uh, should he use. Ito na word average na equivalent yan kay uh, mean. Kaya magiging sagot natin dito ay letter A. So, ayun guys, kung may natutunan ka, okay, kindly like naman, tapos pakashare na rin yung video natin sa ating uh, mga kasama na grade 7. Uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe. At natapos natin ang quarter number 4 and I hope na magkita pa rin tayo sa grade 8 nyo. So, thank you and God bless.